Hello, and welcome to, I think, nearly the last presentation for today. Um, my name is Ariana Boliviu. I'm a lecturer at the University of Nicosia at the Business School. And the paper I'm going to present today is about the use cases that can be implemented in the financial sector with respect to blockchain technologies. This paper is co-authored with Pandelis Velanas and John Soldatos. And the work has been supported by the FinSec project, which uh, stands for um, an integrated framework for collaborative and predictive security for the financial infrastructures. And this is a project funded by the European Commission under the Horizon 2020 framework. OK, thanks. So uh, of course, blockchain began from the idea of cryptocurrencies. But its properties have um, an applicability in a variety of applications in different sectors. Properties such as um, uh, that arise from its decentralized nature, relevant to distributed ledger, ledger technologies, security, transparency, anti-tampering are now considered for um, being applied in a variety of sectors. Uh, this combined with um, uh, it's, a, its ability for fine-graded authentication and authorization, uh, as well as its ability to support proof-of-work processes, makes it um, possible to provide different applications for the financial sector as well. And talking about the financial sector, no, yes, the financial sector has been um, going through several different long-lasting issues, which are associated mainly to the lack of information. So processes relevant to credit scoring of customers, customer profiling, um, insurance and claiming processes, critical infrastructure security, are currently facing issues that have to do with the lack of information associated to the infrastructures that are currently being used. And in this paper, uh, we're trying to explain how blockchain technology could reshape the financial sector. And I will begin from the use case, which is relevant to know your customer, know your business. Due to regulations, every time a, a customer joins a financial institution, every time they are onboarded, they have to provide documentation, information, in order for the banks to be able to conduct what they call know your customer or know your business processes. And this information needs also to be constantly updated. So the problem in this case is that the process is dynamic and customers need, need to provide this information every time they're onboarded on a different bank. They need to maintain and update their documents quite frequently, etc. And the problem is not only with customers in this case, it's also with regulations. So new regulations come in place and there is a huge over overhead for the banks to update all those details. And at the same time, given that the information is stored centrally, there is high risk also for cyber attacks. So in this case, blockchain could support the decentralization and the security of the know your customer, know your business processes. This can offer benefits for, uh, for easing the update of the information with respect to the customer, allowing the customer to provide consent every time a financial institution is going to access their information, providing an up-to-date overview on the customer's profile from the side of the bank, and also reducing the risks relevant to cybercrime. So overall, the know your customer, know your business processes should definitely be supported by blockchain. And getting to the second use case, credit risk scoring, especially for SMEs, is another uh, case which could be supported by blockchain. Uh, the problem in this case is that due to strict regulations that came in place after the financial crisis, such as, for example, the Basel III framework, SMEs are regarded as high-risk high customers by the banks. And the problem for the banks is that they have access only to conventional information about the customer. This has to do with 
for example, um, profit and loss balance sheets, etc. However, living in the digital era, there is a need for novel approaches to extract information relevant to credit risk scoring. And organizations need to also be able to share this data across the different institutions. Therefore, blockchain could facilitate a, sh a solution for sharing credit risk scoring information ac across multiple different financial institutions. And each participating, participating organization can contribute in providing additional information that could assist financial institutions in assessing SME re reliability. So this could contribute in improving access to credit risk scoring information and also minimize the risk of exposing sensitive data. And moving to customer profile management and product personalization use case. Financial institutions are interested to acquire information about the customers, not only for the previous processes that I just mentioned, but also to conduct customer profile management and product personalization. And the problem in this case is that financial organizations have partial access to information. They only have access relevant to the information that the customer have provided to them. However, different data are held to, uh, into different multiple financial institutions and other platforms such as, such as social media. And uh, integrating all these data together could assist financial institutions in acquiring more information about the customer and making their customer profile management and product personalization much more efficient. So blockchain could also, in this case, contribute. It could enable the secure sharing of information across the different institutions. In this way, banks and other financial institutions can acquire an improved analytics, and therefore they can provide more accurate personal asset uh, management recommendations to their customers. It will also lower the barriers, the trust barriers between the financial institutions with regards to data sharing, and also customers will have the ability to provide consent for any type of data being shared. Come on. Yes. So moving to use case four. Insurance claims management could also be improved with the use of blockchain. Financial institutions often uh, offer insurance services. And the problem with insurance services is that there's a complex, there's a tedious process for managing the insurance claims. The processing, um, the claims processing is quite lengthy. It's a complex process. And to finalize uh, a claim participation, several different stakeholders need to be involved. And this makes the process even more time consuming. So the idea is to integrate all stakeholders around the distributed ledger, or, uh, and at the same time use smart contracts in order to assist and automate the checks and verification processes. In this case, a large part of the process will be automated. At the same time, customers will be able to consent to share their data. Uh, companies are able to check for any fraud tra transactions or claims. And very importantly, insurance companies will be able to classify customers, such as drivers, for example, before even releasing the contract. And finally, use case four regards collaborative security in the financial services chain. This has to do with financial organizations that engage in several collaborative processes uh, across the financial services value chain. In this case, you have critical infrastructures which are vulnerable to cyber attacks. These are primary targets for, criminal, for cyber criminals. However, there's a need to share information about the security of the different infrastructures across the financial institutions that uh, operate on the collaborative process uh, value chain. In this case, again, blockchain technologies could contribute in order to support sharing cybersecurity and physical security information. Again, distributed ledger technologies can enable the trustful sharing of the data. 
This will enable and facilitate security expert collaboration. In this way, uh, the accuracy and richness of the information accessed by all the financial institutions that participate is going to be enhanced. And this could contribute to the implementation of a collaborative risk assessment mechanism across all the institutions that participate. So basically, this paper provided an overview uh, for five blockchain use cases that could be used in the financial sector. Uh, a lot of blockchain enthusiasts uh, are foreseeing that blockchain will be largely used in the financial sector in the next decade. And we hope that these four or five use cases could inspire and serve as a basis for innovators that are active in the fintech, in the insurance tech areas to move these areas forward. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much, Ariana.